This is the Music History Today podcast for August 10th. On today's show, Simon LeBon gets rescued, the Rickenbacker frying pan gets a patent, and Jim Morrison goes on trial. First up, though, on this date in 1899, ragtime composer Scott Joplin signed a 1% royalty publishing contract. In 1920, the blues group Mamie Smith and her jazz hounds recorded the song Crazy Blues. In 1937, the United States Patent Office issued a patent for what was then called the Rickenbacker frying pan. You know it better these days as the electric guitar. We discuss this patent, among many other things, on this week's Music History In-Depth podcast, which has already dropped on this channel by the time you're hearing me speak these words. In 1946, singer and actress Kitty Carlisle married playwright Moss Hart. In 1963, Stevie Wonder's song Fingertips Part 2 became the first live recording to hit number one in America on the pop charts. In 1967, The Temptations began their two-week residency at the Copacabana in New York City. In 1970, Jim Morrison went on trial in Miami, Florida for lewd behavior during an earlier concert there. In 1975, the jazz group The Manhattan Transfer debuted their Manhattan Transfer television variety show on CBS television. In 1976, Elton John played the first of 10 shows at Madison Square Garden in New York City. In 1985, Duran Duran, Simon Le Bon, and his yacht crew were rescued after their yacht capsized during a race. In 1987, Wilson Pickett was given two years probation for threatening a person at a bar with a loaded gun. In 2000, Dave Matthews married his wife, Jennifer Ashley Harper. In 2002, Lisa Marie Presley married Nicolas Cage. In 2004, Charlie Watts of the Rolling Stones announced that he had throat cancer. In 2005, the Rolling Stones played a surprise gig at a small club in Toronto, Canada. And in 2007, Switchfoot announced that they were leaving Columbia Records and forming their own record label. In classical music, in 1787, Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart finished his piece A Little Serenade. And in 1895, the first Queen's Hall Promenade concert in Langdon Place, London, England was held. In theater, in 1986, the musical Me and My Girl opened on Broadway, and in 1987, the Broadway musical A Chorus Line had its 5,000th performance. In award ceremonies that were held on August 10th, in 1991, The Fifth Dimension received their star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Albums that were released on August 10th include in 1965, when Elvis Presley released Elvis for Everyone, in 1968, Ten Years After released Undead. In 1970, The Mothers of Invention released Weasel's Ripped My Flesh. In 1973, Rod Stewart released Sing It Again, Rod. In 1979, Michael Jackson released his classic Off the Wall. In 1981, Al Miola, John McLaughlin, and Paco de Lucia released their album Friday Night in San Francisco. In 1983, Rufus released Stompin' at the Savoy. In 1984, the Red Hot Chili Peppers released their self-titled album. In 1987, Five Star released Between the Lines. In 1988, Winger released their self-titled album. In 1989, White Lion released Big Game. In 1993, Jamiroquai released Emergency on Planet Earth. In 1993, same day, Billy Joel released River of Dreams and James Taylor released his live album. In 1994, Richard Marks released Ballads and Robert Earl Keane Jr. released Gringo Honeymoon. In 1999, Dark Tranquility released Projector, The Innocent's Mission released Birds of My Neighborhood, Brenda Lee released 20th Century Masters The Millennium Collection, Machine Head released The Burning Red, and Leonard Skinner released Edge of Forever. In 2000, Ace Troubleshooter released their self-titled album. In 2004, Ario Speedwagon released The Essential Ario Speedwagon. Richard Marks released My Own Worst Enemy. And David Crosby and Graham Nash released Crosby and Nash. And in 2007, Soul Asylum released Welcome to the Minority, the A&M Years, 1988 to 1991. 
Singles that were released in the UK on August 10th include in 1973 when 10CC released The Dean and I, in 1979 Susie and the Red Stripes released Seaside Woman, and in 1998 The Rolling Stones released Out of Control. Meanwhile, in America in 1958, Jerry Lee Lewis did a twofer. He released I'll Make It All Up To You and Break Up. In 1965, Elvis Presley did a twofer. He released It's a Long, Lonely Highway and I'm Yours. In 1968, Marvin Gaye released Chained. In 1972, Simon and Garfunkel released for Emily, Wherever I May Find Her, the live version of that song. In 1974, Kiss released Strutter. In 1979, Smokey Robinson released Cruisin'. In 1985, the Jay Giles Band released Fright Night. In 1987, The Cars released You Are the Girl. In 2004, Jimmy Buffett with Martina McBride released Trip Around the Sun. In 2013, Katy Perry released Roar. And in 2017, Pink released What About Us. Before we go any further, we'd like to tell you that there is now a Music History In-Depth podcast where we go more in-depth on a few of the events that happen in music history for that particular week. The Music History In-Depth podcast runs every Tuesday on YouTube or wherever you get your podcast from, as does our Music Halls of Fame podcast, which talks about a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame along with other Music Halls of Fame, museums, and walks of fame. The Music Halls of Fame podcast drops every Thursday and can also be found on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to this podcast. Artists who were born on August 10th include singer-songwriter Nana Cherry, Michael Bivens of Belle Biv DeVoe, and also New Edition. Inventor and guitar manufacturer Leo Fender, singer Rihanna Avery, singer Jacob Lattimore, singer Dayglow, Aaron Kamen of The Calling, Todd Nichols of Toad the Wet Sprocket, John Ferris of In Excess, singer Patty Austin, Ian Anderson of Jethro Tull, Mick Clark of The Rubettes, Ronnie Spector of The Ronettes, James Griffin of Bread, Bobby Hatfield of The Righteous Brothers, singer and entrepreneur Jimmy Dean, Yes, of Jimmy Dean sausage fame, that's probably how you now know him as. But before, he was a singer. Also entertainer Eddie Fisher, singer Devin Allman, Gene Johnson of Diamond Rio, opera singer Ashley Putnam, Dan Donovan of Big Audio Dynamite, Lorraine Pearson of Five Star, composer Clarence Cameron White, singer and actress Louise Forrester, Singer-songwriter Charlie Peacock, singer-songwriter Julia Fordman. Singer Aaron Hall of the group Guy. Singer Hansi Kirch, singer and actor Mart Sander. Christopher Johnson of Demonoid and also the group Liars in Wait. Country music singer Jennifer Hansen. Country music singer Lydia Salnikova of Bering Strait. Singer Natsumi Abi of Morning Masumi. Singer Al Alberts of the Four Aces, band leader Claude Thornhill, band leader Robert DeKers, composer Douglas Moore, double bassist Bill Johnson, composer Alexander Glazunov, musician Vishnu Narayan Bakand, and composer Hieronymus Pretorius. Artists who unfortunately passed away on August 10th include composer Sebastian de Brossard, who passed away in 1730 at the age of 74. Composer Michael Hayden passed away in 1806 at the age of 68. Composer Salvatore Vagano passed away in 1821 at the age of 52. Composer Edouard Grell passed away in 1886 at the age of 85. Composer Carl Lumby passed away in 1911 at the age of 70. Composer Joseph Murat passed away in 1938 at the age of 73. Blues singer Lucille Bogan, a.k.a. Bessie Jackson, passed away in 1948 at the age of 51. Composer John Larche passed away in 1967 at the age of 83. Composer Bernd Alois Zimmerman committed suicide in 1970 at the age of 52. Singer and actress Ilona Massey of the Ilona Massey Show passed away in 1974 at the age of 64. 
saxophonist Buster Smith passed away in 1991 at the age of 86. Ed Roberts of the group Ruby and the Romantics passed away in 1993 from cancer at the age of 57. Oyston Ariseth, a.k.a. Euronymous of the group Mayhem, was killed in 1993 at the age of 25. Singer Bill Baker passed away in 1994 at the age of 58. Composer Kanlan Nankaro passed away in 1997 at the age of 84. Guitarist Michael Hauser of the group Widespread Panic passed away from cancer in 2002 at the age of 40. Singer Carmita Jimenez passed away in 2003 at the age of 64. Singer Barbara George passed away from a lung infection in 2006 at the age of 63. Music broadcaster Tony Wilson passed away in 2007 at the age of 57. Musician, singer, and also the voice of Chef on the South Park television show, Mr. Isaac Hayes passed away in 2008 at the age of 65. Country music singer Billy Grammer passed away in 2011 at the age of 85. Saxophonist Von Freeman passed away in 2012 at the age of 88. Singer Edie Gourmet of Stephen Edie passed away in 2013 at the age of 84. Guitarist Jody Payne of Willie Nelson's band passed away in 2013 at the age of 77. Composer Xavier ben Gurel passed away in 2017 at the age of 86. And jazz cellist Abdul Wadud passed away in 2022 at the age of 75. Next on the Music History Today podcast, it is August 11th, when in 1973, hip-hop was born at a birthday party in the Bronx. <laughs> 